In this video tutorial, we will be showing how to use ColorEnt and the new measure tool to create test charts and measure them with an X-Rite I1-IO. To start with, in ColorEnt, select the reference data that you want to create a test chart from. You could either use the predefined ones, for example, if you, use, if you want to use one of these standard IT8 charts or an ECI chart, like this one, or you can create your own test chart by using the custom chart tool. Select the color space that you want to create the test charts for. The profiling mode, we have several options here. The number of patches that you want to have. And click Start. Now the reference data is created from which you would create the test charts for measuring within, with the I1 I.O. To export the chart, select one of the presets that fits your measuring instruments. There are several available. The one that you want to use for an I1 I.O. Um, depends on your size uh, of the test chart that you want to create. For example, the maximum chart size um, that fits on the table can be selected here or in case you want to print on a large format printer with a low resolution, you select this one. Or if you want to have the minimum patch sizes, you select this one. By doing this, all the chart dimension, patch sizes and options are pre-selected for you, but you may, you may change them at any time. We would not recommend to change the patch width and patch height. You may select another patch delimiter and the patch distribution can be changed as well. If you are not using the randomized one, for example, if you're using the normal uh, distribution, then it's important to have a patch delimiter. In case you're using the randomized option, you may as well choose to have none delimiter between the patches. Once you're done, click Start. This area shows you how many images will be created. Now close the dialog. And what you will see here is that beside the reference file that you have created, there's another one which has uh, the name reference here, which fits exactly the test chart that you want to measure now. So this is the one that you would select. And after printing, click on Measure. Once the measure tool has been started, select the instrument that you want to measure with. In our case, an X-Rite I1 I.O. Connect. In the setup wizard, define the scan options. Typically, the rows per page is different to the uh, complete number of rows from the entire test chart. In our example, we have a two page test chart, uh, which has uh, completely 13 rows, but on one page, only 11 rows are available. So type in the number of rows and you will instantly see that the number of pages will be set to two pages. Make sure that the gap size fits your test chart. In our case, we don't have any gaps, so put in zero. The measurement condition is depending on the instrument that you have attached to the table. The newer versions, i1 Pro 2, have additional options for measuring M0, M1 and uh, M2. And the older versions of the i1 Pro only have the M0 option. Use the dual mode to scan um, entire rows and use the single mode in case you want to measure patch by patch. Click Next to define the corners of the test chart on the i1 table. So move your hand to the instrument and position the device at the uh, indicated places. Once this is done, click Start and the instrument will start to measure the first page. Once the first page has been measured, the setup wizard appears again for you to place the second page on the table and define the corners of the second page. Once this is done, click Start. 
Once all measurements have been done, a dialog pops up to inform you to transmit the measurement data from the measure tool back to the color and application. Click Transmit. Now your data has been measured and the final one here is the one that you want to save and apply redundancy correction smoothing with and create your ICC profiles.